Hello again, and welcome to another Ableton Live device tutorial. This is Dan from EDM Academy, and in this video I'll be showing you the Erosion device. Erosion is a hybrid device that combines distortion and noise generation in order to degrade and add harmonics to your audio. Let's get started. Erosion is a simple device with only two sections. The first section controls the noise type, and the second contains the modulation options. Let's go over the noise section first. Erosion contains three different noise generators. The noise option modulates the audio with a white noise generator. The wide noise uses two independent white noise generators to modulate the right and left stereo channels separately, adding a wide stereo effect to the audio. The sine option modulates the audio with a sine wave, which adds a distorted resonant tone to the audio according to the selected frequency. Next, let's take a look at the modulation options. The frequency option controls the center frequency at which erosion affects the audio. The width option controls how big the affected frequency range is. If sine mode is selected, this option is disabled because the sine mode only operates at a single frequency. The amount option controls how much noise and distortion is applied to the signal. And finally, at the top is an XY pad allowing you to control the relationship between the frequency and amount controls. And that's all for the erosion device. I recommend combining this effect with a bandpass filter to get a nice lo-fi sound on some of your tracks. Try automating them together for an interesting movement effect too. That's all for now. To learn more about Ableton devices and for more video tutorials, check out edmacademy.net.